Hi guys, um, this is just a short video to introduce you to explorations and global perspectives. Um, this subject, people find it really enjoyable and the reason why they find it really enjoyable is it really places you at the centre and lets you work with uh, different groups of people. So the explorations um, is part of the core for your middle school studies and it will lead to an IGCSE global perspectives. As I said before, you will work individually on this, on subjects that you are global perspectives, global issues that you are particularly interested in. So the lead comes um, from you. It is not content focused, so you will not be given lots of content that you have to find, but we will help you to investigate an issue of global significance that you are personally interested in. As well as individually, you'll be working in research groups and you'll be reflecting all the time and thinking back about the key global issues from different perspectives. So you'll be taking a personal perspective, a lo local perspective and a national and a global perspective. So the real emphasis on you and the reason why students do enjoy this is the emphasis is very much on you and what your group wants to do and the way they uh, perceive things. So some things that you could look at would be world world conflict, health. Health perhaps is a particularly important one at the moment with Covid going on, something that you'll be able to talk about firsthand, but also poverty and uh, education. Like I said before, the, con the course is not driven by content so we will not be giving you lots of stuff to uh, research but we will be helping you to find information about those subjects that you are interested in. So the core of the explorations course is focused on skills and we'll learn how to develop key leadership skills collaboration, communication, problem solving and self-management. Now these are all life skills that will help you through your entire life, both through school, uni uh, school, university and further into life. And if you talk to any teacher, they'll be able to tell you that in our everyday job, those skills of leadership, collaboration, communication, problem solving and self-management are very, very important and very useful. Um, the picture here um, is focused on leadership and you know one way to look at leadership is it's very much about helping people and helping people to bridge that divide help people to understand why sometimes leadership does break down why sometimes there is a conflict and why sometimes there are differences of uh, of, of opinions if you talk to pretty much any adult as well when they're talking about these leadership collaboration communication skills although they will say to you time and time again they are skills and they do develop over a period of time and they develop through practice nobody is perfect at any of these but if you can get into your head that it's developing it over a period of time and getting better and better and better so these skills even if somebody has been working for 40 years, those skills are not going to be perfect. They're going to develop all of the time. So alongside these skills, we'll develop the idea of conscience. So you can understand your role and place in the world. Now, personally, I'm very, very well aware that a lot of the stuff that we do in school is seen uh, schoolwork and when I get the opportunity to talk to students about their interests outside classrooms I am honestly absolutely amazed at the depth of understanding that you have and the conscience that you have surrounding a lot of the issues. That knowledge, understanding and consciousness of issues goes way way beyond anything that we could possibly teach you so there's a real strength there you can use this your life skills your experiences your conscience your personal interest quite frankly to go way 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 above any a or a star grade that a gcse could possibly give you and that's something that you have already 
Everybody has that and every single student that I've ever spoken to, I've been absolutely super, super impressed. So again, this is your opportunity to bring your knowledge and skills to what's going to, to global uh, perspectives and global issues. So we're all faced with massive amounts of information. I mean, the word that I'd use here is unprecedented. We are increasingly interconnected. We increasingly have lots and lots of information. And so it's important that we gain our own sense of an active place in the world. And it comes back again. Those conversations that I've had with students, time and time again, I've been so impressed by the active place and active understanding that they have about global issues. Like I said before, it goes way, way beyond um, anything that we can possibly teach you. What we can help you to develop, though, are your research skills, your analysis skills and your evaluation. And unfortunately, we're living in a political environment where some politicians really don't like that. They really don't like an informed population. People that can ask difficult questions, people can, that re can research and people can, that can analyse. We've got a lot of politicians and a lot of people out there that are just about sound bites, fake news, half-truths, using information that helps them to their own end. So it's important that we under, understand that. So we are unfortunately living in that world. Part of this is developing and justifying a line of reasoning. What are the reasons for the way that not only you think about something, but the way that other people think about things? So it's understanding both what you think and why you think that, but also understanding why other people might think things very think about things in a different way to you. So this is reflect. You're going to reflect on those processes and outcomes, and a lot of the time, it is putting yourself into the shoes of other people, not necessarily ag agreeing with what they say, but understand their perspective and understand why they think, do, and say the things that they do. So communication is really important here, and certainly, I think. Many of us have been in this situation where, to get an idea across, we end up not exactly shouting at somebody, but being quite assertive in the way that we put the message across. That doesn't help. No, that doesn't help at all. So we'll be thinking about the way to respectfully and effectively communicate with people. Nobody likes being shouted at. Nobody likes being told uh, what to think. And... In this image here we can see that's a real big uh, big turn off so again it's understanding people's different perspectives and helping them to not necessarily agree with what you you think but to understand your reasons behind it and understand your perspectives and that works both ways so it's a collaboration achieving a common outcome again we get this idea of building a bridge very much here leadership is about collaboration and it's about bridge, building a bridge between different groups of people that hold different ideas and when you work in your teams there will be times when your team works really well there will be times when your team doesn't work well that's the nature of the team and in fact, what you will find is that your team progresses and you learn a lot more in those times when you do not agree with each other and in those times when uh, you have problems. Because if you can resolve those problems, your team grows from that and you grow from that. So when your teams do have problems, when you feel things are breaking down, keep it in perspective. That is what happens with teams sometimes and that's how teams grow. Digital technologies, that's very important um, part of this course as well um, with the uh, deep learning is making effective use of uh, digital tools 
uh, both to find information and to communicate information. And that's particularly important with uh, deep learning um, when it comes to understanding that there's a lot of fake news out there. So during your exploration course, you'll be developing a wide range of skills and competences. You'll be asked to reflect on these areas at different points during the course. And it's a self-reflection as well. That's a self-reflection on not so much on the content that you've learned, but the processes that you have been to. So there will inevitably be times in this course when you have conflicts, when you have problems, when things don't seem to be uh, going your way. But do bear in mind that that is actually good, because that's the way we all grow. We all grow when we are placed in challenging situations and we resolve those situations. So all the time through this course, we'll be reminding you, it's not so much how well you do things, but how you solve problems as and when they arise. We're here to help you as teachers to resolve those problems and let's grow together from this. It is about you. It's not about the content. It is about you and it is giving you a voice to express your views and opinions and learn from other people. So I hope this video has helped you to understand what uh, Global Perspectives and Explorations is about. As always, if you've got any questions, um, in particular if, you, if we are in a home learning environment uh, because of COVID, do ask us questions. We are absolutely here to help. When things break down, don't worry about that. We can help you resolve those.